up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, GRJSM. Oh. Yo, I just want to talk to you guys uh, real quick. Um, something that's been on my mind. So, if you look at some of the earlier videos uh, on this channel, you know, I was really into the gym. I was like, yeah, I want to be one of those fitness guys. I used to watch Cali Muscle a lot, Mike Rasheed, uh, C.T. Fletcher. And then, uh, and then I went vegan. And... You know, I started following uh, Brian Turner, John Venus, uh, and all these people who put in a lot of time to have, you know, incredible bodies and done some amazing things in the gym. And uh, it's not that I'm giving up on fitness, but sometimes, like, your body just aches. So I've been going to a personal trainer, and uh, this is still the first week. Uh, I still have a little bit of time to, to try to make it up there to, to get the last session of the night. But you know, my body hurts, man. My knees hurt, my feet hurt, my ankles hurt, my shins hurt. Um, and all I did was run around for a while, you know? And, you know, not realizing how bad of shape I am in uh, is really doing a toll on me. So if, uh, if you're out there, and if you used to be, you know, really fit, and then you took some time off and you started living life. When you get back into the gym, take it slow. You know, yeah, you want to hop back in. Like hitting the weights, oh, listen, I'll hit the weights. I'll hit the big, you know, 350s and 365s and all that kind of stuff on the press and squatting 405 and, you know, just monster, you know, style stuff. But when it comes to conditioning and cardio, take it slow because I just feel like my bones are old <laughs> I know I know listen I'm only I'm only 33 actually I'll be 34 in a couple weeks but um, you, you start to feel you know the age kick in you start to feel a little bit older and a little bit more sluggish just just take it take your time with it there is no rush you know you could be unless you're you know if you're getting ready for something then maybe you know you want to be on a time frame but understand that you got you know this one life and everybody says life is short but i mean really 70 80 and if you take good care of yourself 90 plus years that's a long time i'm only 33 you know if i you know pick things up and take a little bit better care of myself i've got more than half of my life still to go um I'd say about maybe two thirds. You know, I'd love to be able to hit 90. If I could hit 90, that means I'm only a third of the way in. Um, but trust me, life is long. So uh, enjoy it. Um, you do what you gotta do. Eat mangoes. Mangoes all day, baby. Mangoes all day. Um, but, you know, enjoy life. It, sh it shouldn't be, um, you know, like this this agonizing you know humdrum life there's so much out there take your time enjoy it stop smell the flowers and just just be alive a lot of people are so concerned on making a living that they don't actually live the life that they had um, years ago I, I mean I used to uh, work two or three jobs a day I would substitute teach, I would coach, you know, go work at, you know, this place overnight, or I would go, uh, you know, have some kind of day job and a night job, and then, you know, come home and be so exhausted that I couldn't do anything else. Just live. I mean, seriously, just and live. You know, because every second that your heart beats, you're alive doesn't always mean you're living i'm not saying go on these lavish you know um vacations honestly and i hate to sound lazy and cheap but the expense the what you have to do in order to have these amazing vacations sometimes i just don't want to do what it takes <laughs> because you know i just don't if i could take one amazing vacation you know that'd be great yeah, I'd love to go see, you know, where my wife's family comes from uh, over in Thailand. Um, it may take me a while because, you know, I'm not a hustler 
at all. Listen, I'm I would love I, I finished my back patio, so you know, thinking ahead next year, um, I'm probably going to put a uh, hammock. Yeah, give me a nice little hammock out back. Oh, I'm just sitting swinging that hammock. Wee! Telling you. And uh, I plan on getting back into the classroom. Um, and uh, with things going the way that I think they will, uh, it's not going to be a step back. It's just going to be, I don't want to say reversal of roles, but it's, it's going to be just a little bit of a switch. I need to have uh, like a weekend or or like a time off. You know, taking you know a break from work or vacation days is not the same. You know, when I come home, I want to be a little more beat up. Uh, and when I go out to work, I go out to work. You know, do what I gotta do. But then when it's time to relax, I want to be able to relax. I don't want to be able. I don't want to come home and still be, you know, still aching physically. You know, from a job that I've done, and then not be able to recover. You know, or or you know, it, it, you understand what I'm saying. I need to be able to sit back and chill. So that's where I stand. Um, this video is long enough. Um, like I said, live life, take it slow. You got a long life to live. And uh, this is your boy G R J S M O, and I'm at.